Have you ever wondered how a single assassination could trigger a global conflict? Picture this. It's the early 20th century, Europe is a powder keg of nationalistic tension and political alliances. At the heart of this is Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria, whose assassination ignited the fuse. This wasn't just a royal tragedy, it was a pivotal event that shook the world's political landscape. This single event set in motion a series of alliances and events that led to the First World War. Imagine a row of dominoes each representing a country, one falls and the rest follow. This domino effect is a fitting metaphor for how the First World War escalated. At the heart of it was a complex web of alliances, a system designed for security and peace that, ironically fueled the flames of conflict. One country's involvement quickly led to another's, creating a chain reaction too powerful to stop. Let's delve into the major players in this global drama. First, there were the Central Powers, primarily made up of Germany, Austria-Hungary, the Ottoman Empire and Bulgaria. Their alliance was born out of shared interests and mutual protection, but it also created a formidable front for their adversaries. On the other side of the battlefield were the Allies, France, the United Kingdom, Russia, Italy and eventually the United States. Each had their own reasons for joining the fray, whether it was to honor alliances, protect territories or avenge past wrongs. Germany, a rapidly industrializing nation, sought to expand its influence. Austria-Hungary, on the other hand, was driven by the desire to suppress the nationalistic ambitions of Serbia, which had been growing increasingly bold. The Ottoman Empire and Bulgaria, grappling with their own internal and external pressures, saw an alliance with the Central Powers as a strategic move to secure their interests. Meanwhile, the Allies were driven by a mix of old grudges, territorial disputes, and a shared fear of Central Powers expansionism. France sought to reclaim territories lost in a previous conflict with Germany. The United Kingdom, wary of Germany's growing naval power, felt the need to protect its supremacy at sea. Russia, allied with Serbia, was compelled to enter the war, following Austria-Hungary's declaration of war on Serbia. Italy, initially neutral, joined the Allies in hopes of gaining territories. The United States, though initially reluctant, entered the war, swayed by a series of events that threatened its neutrality. As one nation after another got embroiled, the war grew, engulfing the world in its flames. The dominoes fell, one by one, setting the stage for a conflict of unprecedented scale and devastation. Picture a war not fought in open fields, but in muddy, disease-ridden trenches. Welcome to the horrifying world of trench warfare, a grim innovation of the First World War. Trench warfare was a strategic game of cat and mouse, where armies dug deep into the earth to protect themselves from the deadly firepower of modern weaponry. The trenches, often only seven feet deep and six feet wide, were not just defensive structures. They were homes, hospitals, and graveyards. Soldiers lived, fought, and often died in these cramped, squalid conditions. The strategy was simple, yet deadly effective. Troops would hunker down in these trenches, safe from the enemy's machine guns and artillery. Then, at the command, they would surge over the top, charging across a barren wasteland known as No Man's Land, towards the enemy's trenches. Here, they would face a hail of bullets and shellfire. Many would not make it across, their bodies added to the gruesome landscape of war. Living conditions in the trenches were nothing short of hellish. Soldiers had to contend with constant barrage of artillery, the threat of enemy raids, and the specter of death always looming. The trenches were also breeding grounds for disease. Lice, rats, and fleas were rampant, spreading illnesses like trench foot, typhus, and dysentery. The stench of rotting corpses and overflowing latrines was a constant reminder of the grim reality soldiers faced. The psychological impact on the soldiers was immense. The fear, the stress, the sheer brutality of it all took a heavy toll. Many soldiers developed shell shock, now known as post-traumatic stress disorder. They were haunted by the things they had seen, the things they had done, and the friends they had lost. Trench warfare was a brutal, unforgiving aspect of the First World War. It changed the way wars were fought, and it changed the soldiers who fought them. It was a harsh lesson in the true cost of modern warfare. The brutality of trench warfare revealed the grim reality of modern warfare. War often accelerates technological progress, and WW1 was no exception. In the crucible of conflict, the need for better, more efficient ways to wage war often sparks a surge of innovation. The First World War was a time of tremendous technological advancement, with machinery and weaponry evolving at a pace never seen before. Let's start with machine guns. Prior to the war they were bulky and difficult to use, 
However, as the war progressed, these became more portable and lethal. The Vickers gun, a more refined and reliable iteration, could fire over 400 rounds per minute, changing the dynamic of ground warfare. Next, we dive into the world of armored vehicles. Tanks, a novel invention during WW1, were slow-moving metal behemoths that could traverse difficult terrain and withstand heavy gunfire. The British Mark I, for example, was a turning point in ground warfare, offering a new way to break through enemy lines. And then, there were the skies. Airplanes were still a new concept at the dawn of the 20th century, however their potential for reconnaissance and combat was quickly recognized. By the end of the war, these machines had evolved from unarmed scouting vehicles to formidable fighters armed with machine guns and bombs. Lastly, let's touch upon a darker side of technological advancement, chemical warfare. This was the first large-scale introduction of deadly gases as a weapon. From tear gas to the deadly mustard gas, these insidious weapons caused immense suffering and marked a grim turning point in the history of warfare. So, while it's unsettling to think about, it's clear that the urgency and desperation of war can drive technological innovation at an astonishing rate. The advancements made during the First World War were no exception, bringing about a seismic shift in the way wars were fought. These advancements, while devastating, undeniably shaped the future of warfare. After years of bloodshed, the war finally came to an end, but what was left in its wake? With the signing of the Treaty of Versailles on June 28, 1919, the guns of the Great War fell silent. This treaty however was much more than a mere ceasefire, it was a document that would reshape the world and set the stage for conflicts yet to come. The cost of the war was beyond comprehension. An estimated 9 million soldiers lost their lives and countless more were left physically and mentally scarred. Civilian casualties were equally staggering, a grim testament to the brutality of modern warfare. Cities lay in ruins, economies were shattered, and societies were forever changed. The world had lost an entire generation. This war also brought about significant societal changes. Women who had been called upon to fill roles traditionally held by men, began to demand equal rights. Empires crumbled, and new nations were born. The map of Europe was redrawn, and the balance of power shifted dramatically. The political ramifications of the war were equally significant. The Treaty of Versailles placed the blame for the war squarely on Germany, and imposed heavy financial reparations. This punitive peace fostered resentment and economic instability in Germany, creating fertile ground for extremist ideologies. This, coupled with the fallout from the Russian Revolution, set the stage for the rise of totalitarian regimes across Europe. It's crucial to remember that the end of the First World War was not just an end, but also a beginning. The seeds of the Second World War were sown in the very treaty that was meant to ensure lasting peace. The societal changes and political upheaval the war precipitated would continue to shape the course of history for the remainder of the 20th century and beyond. The end of the war was just the beginning of a new era of conflict and change. It was a reminder that peace can be as complex and challenging as war itself, and that the echoes of a conflict can be heard long after the last shots have been fired. Looking back, what can we learn from this devastating global conflict? The echoes of World War I continue to reverberate through our history, offering us valuable lessons for today and the future. One of the most poignant of these lessons is the danger of unchecked nationalism. The fervor of national pride that once fueled the flames of war reminds us of the importance of tempering patriotism with a sense of global community and mutual respect. It's crucial to remember that our shared humanity transcends borders and that we are all interconnected in this vast world. Another significant lesson is the transformative impact of technology on warfare. World War I saw the introduction of tanks, machine guns and even chemical weapons, forever changing the face of conflict. This technological leap underscores the responsibility we bear in harnessing the power of innovation for the greater good, rather than the destruction of lives. Lastly, World War I underscores the importance of diplomacy in preventing conflict. The war's outbreak was largely due to diplomatic failures and misunderstandings. In the wake of such a tragic event, we are reminded of the need for clear, open and respectful communication among nations to prevent misunderstandings that can lead to devastating consequences. As we remember the horrors and sacrifices of WW1, may we strive for a world where peace prevails over conflict. Let's take these lessons to heart, using them as guiding principles in our actions and decisions in hopes of a more peaceful understanding world.